Sikorsky symbolizes the beginning of this intense friendship that has existed between Poland and Britain since the Second World War. In many respects, he was more high profile than General de Gaulle. There is definitely an appreciation by Churchill. He's described in plenty of accounts as being irreplaceable. He was well established as Britain's first ally. 4th of July 1943, Sikorsky was killed uh, in an air crash. Shortly after the invasion of Poland by Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union in 1939, a Polish government in exile and Polish armed forces were established to continue the fight for Polish independence. Sikorski was named Prime Minister and Commander-in-Chief of the Polish Armed Forces. After the fall of France in 1940, the government in exile was relocated to London, where it was recognised by all Allied governments. The Polish Armed Forces were also recreated in the UK. In those first years, 1940, 41, he got to know Churchill very well. He was highly appreciated. Churchill perceived in the Poles to be like-minded in their approach to the war. He very much respects their fighting spirits. This determination not to be put down, not to be defeated. Tchaikovsky's playing this very difficult role of trying to promote Poland's cause, but he obviously has to fit in with the other allies and their strategic objectives. For example, in 1941, Sikorsky signed an agreement securing the release of Polish troops from the Soviet Union. Having achieved all of this, he is killed tragically in a plane crash in Gibraltar. They send a destroyer to take his body back to Britain, and then there's a mass at Westminster Cathedral with a eulogy by Churchill himself. As one of Britain's key allies, Poles courageously helped to defend the country during the Battle of Britain, shared their breakthrough findings on Enigma secrets, and were the first to report on the atrocities of the Holocaust. This intense friendship between Britain and Poland is bearing fruit even today. And we see it in action, Britain and Poland being at the forefront of the nations supporting Ukraine. 